episode 48 of Folk from the Boat. I hope you're very well and today we are going to be taking the boat from a place called Spellbrook to a place called Twyford. I'm really loving the, uh, the very English names we've got going today. So, engaging. Noise might go up. And here we go. And we've just got a few spots of rain. So, um, Ronnie, if you're, if you're watching the episodes today, you are always commenting that it's always sunny in front from the boat. And what can I say? Yeah, I guess, I guess it is because <laughs> I thought today we will have some rain because it was forecast to rain all yesterday and won't rain today. Um, and so I thought, oh, we will have some rain. So I can show you that in the south of England, it's not always uh, dry weather, but it kind of turns out that it didn't rain either day. So yeah, I think it's true. There's no rain on the boat, really. Today we are celebrating the harvest moon, so I thought I would pick out another harvest song. It's called John Barleycorn and it's one with a long, long history in many different variations. The oldest reference I've got for the word barley is Beowa, an Anglo-Saxon god, um, servant, servant of gods, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, um, which means barley. And this song in uh, in sort of variations of the same, at least goes back to the 16th century. There's a copy in a 16th century Scottish, in, in Scots, a manuscript, a Bannatine manuscript. And Robert Burns does a lovely version of it, I must say. I've taken a few of his lyrics, but mine are mostly from an old Thatcher who, uh, whose song was collected in the Upper Thames. So John Barleycorn personifies barley and it's, it's sort of a, a murder ballad but there's a little bit of tongue in cheek because he is barley and his blood that we drink in the end is in fact of course um, ale. So it's part of that celebrating the harvest and what it gives us. Uh, I'm sure you know this and I'm sure everyone has many different favourite versions. I've used the tune that I've found most often recently sung and I have to admit not the tune that I've found most often in old sources. So if anyone knows where exactly this tune came from I'm really curious because my research hasn't taken me there yet. But I hope you will, I hope you'll sing along and enjoy John Barleycorn. Come out of the west their fortunes for to try And they did make a solemn bow John Barleycorn must die They ploughed him in the old salty With clots upon his hand Then these three men they did conclude John Barleycorn was dead 
as a hero bold of noble enterprise. For if you do but taste 